Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with a Greater Demon Slayer Guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many Slayer Guides as possible, so hopefully you enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more, there are tons of places you can check me out at and support me down below in the description. Would appreciate it greatly, but with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill Greater Demons? In my opinion, you should. They offer great XP. They're normally very good, but you can also use an Arc Light, which makes them insane, and on top of that, you can cannon them, and they are also afk so for me everything i want out of a slayer task other than profit so it's definitely a good play in terms of the requirements these aren't necessarily requirements just recommendations 60s in your combats of whatever you're going to be using would be nice 43 prayer would also be nice for protect from melee if you're going to be going into some of the multi areas or if you're just really low level and don't want to take damage greater demons are weak to essentially everything so you can use whatever you'd like in this video i'll mostly focus on melee with a couple range setups their attack style is melee based and they can hit up to a 10, so not too bad. As far as what you can expect, a hard clue is a 1 in 128 drop. A brimstone key from Konar task is a 1 in 100. Kind of floats between 90 and 110 depending on what leveled ones you're killing, but about 1 in 100. If you're in the catacombs of Karen, you get totem pieces at about a 1 in 385 rate. And your average GP a kill you'll be picking up will be close to 400 GP. So nothing spectacular, but just a little bit. In terms of the melee gear, we'll throw up three setups that should universally represent what we're going for here. All of these setups are aiming for prayer bonus. I will talk more about if you don't want to be praying what you can bring in a second, but those will cover most of what you need, just trying to maximize our prayer bonus and also our strength bonus at the same time. For the weapons, you can use whatever you'd like. Really doesn't matter. The greater demons don't have that high of a defense, so I wouldn't sell any weapons to try to go for something else. Just use whatever you're comfortable with that you've been using on Slayer. And then in addition, if you haven't done any questing and you don't have the prayer gears below, you can use monk robes. And along with that, as I mentioned earlier, an arc light is really, really good. Best in slot actually on these tasks, so you can use it if you'd like. However, you only get so many charges on an account before you have to go and get more. So I, you know, I would just save them, but if you're sure you want to use them, go ahead. For the tank gear, a few different setups there. On the left, Fighter's Torso and Dragon Plate Legs. You could even go with Full Rune if you wanted. Wouldn't be recommended, but I would say anything of these sorts is going to do you well in terms of defense. As mentioned earlier, Greater Demon's only max at 10, so you shouldn't have to worry about banking too much, depending on what you're bringing. And then we have a couple alternative range setups. The left-hand side is an extremely low setup if you're just trying to get through the task and you have not much to your name, that's the way I'd go about it. You could replace the Adamant Darts with Mithril Darts if you want to be a little bit cheaper on that side of things. And then the right hand side is more of a higher level setup where maybe you're just kind of passively doing it for a little bit of range XP. Wouldn't recommend it, but a possibility if you'd like. For the sweaty rates that you could expect here, um, assuming it's 70s in your melee stats, you could get about 19k Slayer XP per hour, and that ranges all the way up to 35k Slayer XP per hour if you have max melee and piety. So. Good range there, but it is a pretty good Slayer task in terms of XP per hour. And there are the melee rate alternatives as well. Really good melee XP. This is assuming an arc light on the highest of scales. Still some really good stuff though. So now for the common places that greater demons are killed. Uh, this is the mountain that Konar is on. I don't know how to pronounce the name of it, so I'm just not going to. On the right hand side, kind of a basic inventory that you could bring here. Some super combat potions along with teleports to and fro and some items that are going to allow you to have extra inventory space with the room pouch and the herb sack. I'd also recommend a cannon here if you can afford it. If not, that is perfectly fine. And I'll be bringing prayer potions as a kind of like an AFK task here. Kind of far away from a bank and not a ton of inventory space so that's why I prefer that. However, you don't need to bring prayer potions. You can bring food and tanking armor if you'd like. In addition, a gem bag and a soul bearer could also be useful on this task. And for the Slayer dungeon down below here, you do have to have either boots of stone, brimstone boots, or granite boots. Granite boots would be the best in terms of melee if you are coming here. And as far as methods of transportation to get here, the Rada's Blessing is the best best basically teleports you right next to the slayer dungeon so that is really nice the fairy ring cir code is second best uh you just go right down to the south side of the mountain and then you have to run your way up there's a little agility obstacle or two in there that you might be able to complete if not just run around the mountain and you'll be fine the third option is a battlefront telly that you can purchase from the grand exchange or make yourself through the Arceus spell book and then finally, the fourth one is the Farming Guild Telly that can also be purchased from the Grand Exchange through a Skills Necklace. Pretty far away, but, you know, in terms of most Slayer tasks, you're not going to have to run too far. Once you've made your way on up here, just go ahead and activate the elevator that you'll find up at the top, and that'll take you down to the bottom again. Make sure you have granite boots, boots of stone, or boots of brimstone. 
Then from there, make your way on into the northern room and take the eastern path over the rocks and climb up the stairs. Once you're up here, make your way on over to the western side of the second floor, and here you will find some greater demons in a nice little cove for you. Personally, again, praying melee, so that's what I'll throw on, and from there, I'll just throw down a nice little cannon in the middle of the room. So many greater demons to be killed here. I really do enjoy the spot, as it's nice and open. You don't have to worry about aggro ranges or anything. I mean, the cannon's just going to pull them in for you, and from there, you can go ahead and AFK your life away. Again, a little far away from a bank, which is why I prefer prayer, but you can bring regular food if you like. Another place where greater demons are frequently killed is the Chasm of Fire, a cove that just contains tons of different demons. In terms of the inventory here, very similar to the last one shown. The only difference is really our super defense potions and food because I'm expecting lower levels to likely go to the Chasm of Fire. Beyond that, just teleports in my inventory and some items to be able to help me loot these things better. Other than that, not too much you have to worry about. In terms of the teleports to be able to get here, the best option is the Fairy Ring D. DJR teleport. The second best is the Memoir Shazian teleport that'll teleport you a little bit to the south. The Battlefront Telly is a nice option for those that may not have any of the requirements. You can purchase that from the Grand Exchange and that'll throw you to the west of the area. And then the Xerix Inferno Telly is also a nice option that will put you to the northeast of the Chasm of Fire. Once you've made your way on over there, just go ahead and walk on over the bridge and enter the chasm. Uh, down here, you'll be greeted by some lesser demons and just go ahead and walk right on pass them over to the second floor where you see this lift just go ahead and take that down and you will be at the greater demon area don't know who's okay well i was just recording and there wasn't a cannon here but someone is here now however essentially if you do have a cannon throw it up right there you can attack this side of the room or that personally this place looks nice like aesthetically it's pretty cool but as far as practicality there's just not as many in the same area so if you're gonna cannon i wouldn't really recommend it here this is mostly for lower levels that just want to have three or four greater demons to themselves in a nice little secluded area so a nice option however not the one that i prefer personally and then the final location that greater demons are frequently killed is the catacombs of karend the inventory here is just some boosting potions along with teleports to and fro and again more things to help looting then i have prayer potions and a, a few safety food because every now and then I, I do go afk and you know drop prayer so personally i bring them you can just keep those inventory slots empty if you like for transportation to the catacombs, the best option is going to be the Xerix Heart Teleport. This requires 100% favor in all houses and the Architectural Alliance quest to be completed. Not a fun time, but if you have it, it is the best option since you can just do that right there from the bank, nice and easy. Second best is the Karen Teleport, which you will have to have the Transportation Incantation along with 69 Magic or you could just go to someone else's player-owned house and use a teleportation portal that they have. If you're not going to do that, though, the third best option is the Xerix Glade Tele. The Xerix Glade teleport only requires having 5% Shazian favor and obtaining the talisman from there. That's all you really need. And then the fourth best option that is available to everyone is the Veos Boat. That is located to the east of Karend and can be accessed from the northeast section of Port Serum. However you want find your way on over there personally i'll be using the xerix talisman and then from there just go ahead and investigate the statue that you'll see once you're on in the catacombs of ground just go ahead and run to the northeast you'll see some hill giants along with some dragons to the north uh, avoid those make your way east to the bloodfelds and through some necreals and then you'll see some greater demons up here here you're almost going to certainly want protect from melee because you're going to be in the middle of all of these different greater demons so if you're just using defensive armor you're going to have a bad time personally this is actually my favorite method because it's just extremely afk and it doesn't really require the attention of a cannon or the extra cost of a cannon maximizes my melee xp and on top of that i get some random totems that I can use to go kill Skatizo. So personally, I find that enjoyable and I prefer this place the best. However, recommend trying them all out and see what you like the most. But that is going to be the end of this Greater Demons Guide. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Excuse me, sir. Anything else you want to see from me, let me know in a comment down below. And on top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.